So you all saw the new trailer for Endgame, right? Man, it looks really good. Actual action scenes, shots of the heroes being anything other than sad, flashbacks with cool red highlights to them, and a new batch of costumes for you to buy action figures of. And Captain Marvel's in it. She is the new hotness after all. I like this one. <laughs> yeah, I'd say that this was a very good trailer. Too bad like only half of it is going to wind up being in the actual movie. Hey, so before we get started, I just want to come right out of the gate and say that yes, I did see the article about the Russo brothers admitting that they're kind of lying in the trailers. I wrote and filmed this video at the same time this article was posted, so I had no idea. And I just wanted to come out and say this now because I know somebody is going to say something about it in the comments. Also, the point of this video wasn't to necessarily say that the Russo brothers are misleading us. I think we all already knew that, but more so to talk about what they could be changing from the trailers. What will be different in the trailers than in the final film? So with that out of the way, on with the show. Trailers are a funny thing in modern movie culture. Essentially, they're supposed to be an ad for an upcoming film, something to give the audience a little taste of what the movie is actually gonna be about. There's a delicate balancing act with trailers. You wanna show the audience just enough to get them interested, but you don't wanna show them too much and risk potentially spoiling the whole thing for them. Like, do you remember Terminator Genesis? Probably not, cause that movie sucked, but the trailer for it actually spoiled the big reveal of the film. The fact that John Connor, the heroic leader of the human resistance, was secretly a killer robot. Like I said, the movie sucked. Now, for the most part, Marvel has been pretty good at keeping the trailers informative, but vague. They give you a good sense of what the movie is going to be about, but they don't ruin everything for you in two minutes. Really, the only bad trailers that they've done were for Captain Marvel, which I talked about already, and Spider-Man Homecoming, which was actually handled by Sony, so that one's not technically their fault. Now, the trailers they've been releasing for Avengers Endgame have really been the right kind of trailers. They're showing off the world and the current status quo of the heroes without giving too much away of what's gonna actually happen in the movie. The first trailer showed us the surviving Avengers being all sad that they lost, but still determined to try one more time to fix what Thanos did. The Super Bowl trailer basically reinforced this notion with more scenes of the empty world and new shots of the Avengers walking defiantly. And this most recent trailer ties the film into the whole on-screen history of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. We see some actual action, we see more of Hawkeye, and we get a new catchphrase. Whatever it takes. All of this stuff is just cool and awesome. It makes me very excited to see Avengers Endgame in theaters. I just know that when I do see it, I'm probably not gonna see a lot of the things that they're showing us in these trailers. In recent years, Marvel has gotten into the habit of deliberately misdirecting its audience with their trailers, putting things in the trailers that don't wind up happening in the final cut of the film. Now, in the grand scheme of things, the trailer scenes that Marvel isn't putting in the final cut of their movies don't really affect the movies in the negative in any real way. The movies aren't worse off for not including those scenes. But while these scenes are in the trailers, they kind of become iconic looking scenes that make you wonder why it wasn't in the final film or why it was altered in a significant way for the final film. This first became noticed with Thor Ragnarok. The trailer for that movie had this really awesome shot at the end of Thor slamming down to the ground being surrounded by lightning. It was a rad moment and people naturally assumed that if they put a rad moment like that in the trailer, then naturally they're gonna put that in the final film. They did, but with a big difference. In the climax of Ragnarok, Thor loses his eye while fighting Hela. When the big lightning slam down happens, it looks like the trailer, only this time, Thor only has one eye. Now to be fair, you can understand why they wound up doing that. Thor losing his eye is a pretty big deal. That's a shocking thing that you don't want to just give away in a trailer. Little did we know that they would pull this stunt again in the future with Avengers Infinity War, only this time to a much larger degree. The obvious thing they omitted was this hero shot. All the characters running towards the screen 
ready to fight Thanos' army. This one scene quickly became synonymous with Avengers Infinity War and got a lot of people hyped up to see the movie, to see this moment in the movie. So much so that it was actually the thumbnail for the official trailer on Marvel's YouTube page. Except this particular shot is nowhere to be found in the movie. Hell, Hulk is in this shot, but he's not in Infinity War after the first 10 minutes. It's just Banner. There are other little things like how they only ever showed Thanos with two Infinity Stones in his gauntlet in the trailers, how the Guardians act all friendly towards meeting Thor for the first time when they really acted more defensive, and Thanos' line about having fun while bringing balance to the universe isn't in the movie at all. Now, like I said with Ragnarok, I get why Marvel is doing this. They don't want to show us everything right out the gate. They want us to be excited and surprised when we see the actual movie in theaters. And for the most part, this really hasn't been a problem. What they've been teasing us with and then later omitting hadn't really been essential to the overall story of the movies that they're supposed to be in. They're really just cool little moments that look good in the context of a trailer and don't look out of place within the context of the film. But having seen Marvel pull this trick before with their other trailers and movies, I'm beginning to wonder what from these trailers for the Endgame trailers are going to be missing from the final cut of Avengers Endgame. Like it can't just be me who thinks that not everything in these trailers are going to be in the final cut of the film. But now I find myself trying to figure out what's going to stay and what's going to wind up being cut or what was just there to tease us, to get us excited. A lot of people are already analyzing this shot from the Super Bowl trailer of the Avengers standing in a field. There's a big gap between two of them, looks like Banner and Rhodes, where another person could easily be standing. People think that Marvel removed a character from this scene in order not to spoil the movie. So who could be standing there? Captain Marvel seems the most likely candidate. Hank Pym surviving the snap somehow? Plausible. Daredevil? How cool would it be if it was Daredevil? Or what about the scene from the first trailer of Ant-Man asking to be let into Avengers HQ? To me, this is the perfect type of scene for them to dramatically alter for the final movie. This shot of Rocket and War Machine looks pretty rad. Might not be in the final film. Hell, that scene of Hawkeye with his family from the most recent trailer looks like it might be a candidate for getting cut. It looks like a scene that could be removed for pacing purposes and then explained away with a line of dialogue. I would almost put money on the fact that they would cut the scene, but I'm not confident enough to actually do that. I am confident enough to say that this is clearly Clint Barton's daughter and not Kate Bishop. Although how cool would it be if Kate Bishop was the missing person from the field scene? Or how about again from the most recent trailer when they're all walking in their brand new suits? It shows us all of the surviving Avengers there. Could some of them just be plants to throw us off? Like, is Nebula not supposed to be there? The point is, any one of these shots could wind up being trailer only. Marvel has shown that they're not above keeping things from us or even outright lying to us in order to keep the integrity of their film intact. And look, I'm honestly okay with that. I understand that you want to keep your audience interested and excited all throughout, and it's hard to keep secrets in the age of the internet. So you gotta do everything you can. But the thing is, at this point, I don't know if I can believe these trailers anymore. Like, for all we know, Tony Stark and Nebula make it back to Earth no problem, no fear of running out of oxygen. The scene where Ant-Man flips himself with a pencil? That might not be in the film as cool as it is. That shot of a barren city field where the Mets play? Is that gonna be in your movie? I kinda wanna know that. I'm not mad or upset, my mind is just running wild with speculation. More wild than it usually does with a movie like this. Usually when I see a trailer I think to myself, oh, that'll look cool when I see it in the movie. Now with the Marvel trailers I'm thinking to myself, what are they keeping from us? What are they not telling us? What are they trying to hide? And I feel like if Marvel isn't careful with this, their plan could backfire. Like, people could get legitimately pissed off that they don't see Hawkeye jump from a fireball or they don't see Nebula help Tony Stark weld that thing. I'm not saying spoil everything, of course, but I just feel like Marvel doesn't have to keep actively deceiving us with their trailers. Just show us all the good, non-spoilery bits and that should be fine. Like, maybe the first 20, 30 minutes of the film in trailer form. That's good enough. As for us, the audience, we need to go into Avengers Endgame knowing that what we saw in the trailers is not going to represent fully what we're about to see on the screen. 
But we also need to remember that Marvel isn't doing this out of malice. They're doing it because they care. They want us to have the best movie going experience possible with no spoilers or as little of spoilers as they can actually do. But what do you think? How do you feel about Marvel's practices of actively deceiving us with their trailers? What scenes do you think are gonna be completely different or not in Avengers Endgame at all? Or do you think I'm a crazy conspiracy nut? Let me know down below or anywhere on the internet. Of course, don't forget to check out the Amazon affiliate links in the description below. Don't forget to check out Wolf Den Apparel also in the description. And don't forget that we have new videos every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Wednesday night at 8 p.m. Eastern with Wolf Den Live. So subscribe to see all of that. Like this video and share it with a friend, a friend who also thinks that Marvel is getting a little too crazy with lying to us in the trailers. Maybe lying is too strong of a word. I just know that the hero shot from the Infinity War trailer wasn't in Infinity War the movie, and a lot of people are still kind of miffed on that. Thank you all for watching. I will see you next time.